RVers, this is Gary, sharing behind the camera. Rough Road RV Life, we like looking at freedom. Whereas freedom brought us on Arizona 90, a little bit up from Sierra Vista, maybe 23 miles or so. Maybe it's that way, maybe it's that way. Anyway, and we're about an hour from Tucson, but we are at Karstner Cavern State Park. And we're gonna show you what Karstner Cavern State Park camping area and, and amenities look like. So it's that way, so let's start touring. And it is an international dark sky park. After Don't... 830, no lights. Right. So we're on the entrance road. Now when we pulled in, there was nobody at the check-in station. They had all our information on the post of our site. So we just went to the post. But um, I'm seeing somebody here now this morning. So uh, we just went through the check-in station where you don't check in. But they have, like I said before, they have all your car tags and all your stuff that you need on the post at your campsite. Right. They were open every day, I think, until 4. They just weren't open the day we came in for some reason. So, as we're traveling on our merry way, the first thing we're going to come to is the Discovery Center parking, and this is also the uh, where you go on the cave tours. Discovery Center and cave tour parking, number three, parking lot three. And there's your RV parking. There's a lot of parking here, and picnic areas all around. And nice little paths under these mesquite trees. There's the Discovery Center up in there. Let's give can, it a turn here. You can go in. some people out, so we'll try to see what we can do. They also have a hummingbird garden here, which is cool to walk through. And they have a little cafe, which is not a whole lot. They got like two or three different sandwiches you can buy. Here we go. Group use area to the right. And here's a day use area. Covered uh, picnic tables in the grill, water, garbage. And that trail there. Explain the trail, honey. I know it goes back to the campground. Right. It goes back to the campground. If you go to the right, it'll take you to the other camping loop that's closed right at this time and to the Foothills Trail. But it's a short walk from the campground over to the Discovery Center. This is a great place to walk your dogs if you want to avoid campground walking. You might have to be just a little careful for sand spurs. Yes. But as you can see, this parking lot is huge. But we are here at the end of September. It's, I think it's about a quarter to 11 right now, but the weather's been delightful. 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 Capital letters, exclamation mark. <laughs> We're talking mid 80s and, and during the day and probably upper 50s, low, mid 60s at night. Glorious. Glorious compared to what we've been going through the last three weeks or so. Where our lows were in the 80s. Okay, so we're gonna continue on our way on the main road. And we're gonna come up to on the left here is a nice dump station. You can go pull in there either going in or headed back out and a helicopter landing pad we're not sure what that's about but 
I guess it's about a helicopter landing pad. No, they have to land somewhere. Yeah, I guess, I guess they got to land somewhere. I guess this is a prime helicopter zone. So we're going to continue on. So as you can see, it's a nice paved road coming in. Not gravel, not bumpy. Now right here is where you would turn to go to the campground, but we're just going to shoot straight up and show you the trailhead first. It's not far. I like those mountains in the background. Not sure what mountains those are, but they're green mountains. This is the only trailhead in the park, as far as this goes. And it's called the Gwendanny, <laughs> Gwendanny Trailhead Parking. That's what I'm going to say. It's got some restrooms. And... There's your trails. There's really three, like, well, four trails total in the park. But plenty of roads, too. And there's a group camping area here. And they use. And now we go back to Campground A because Campground B is closed and when talking with the lady at the ranger at the uh, check-in station it sounds to me like they open it on holidays and seasonal events when they're busier. And winter. Okay so these campgrounds are east and west campgrounds. I think it was A and B was at our last one. So east and west. And we are in the east and west is closed. So it's sites 1 through 34 that are closed and we're just going to check out 35 through 62. And there's cabins on the left. Yep. They, they are open. Yes they are and they have been busy. I think there's four, four cabins. Yep. The cabins. So as we enter the campground and the cabins on the left, first thing we come to is the shower house. No laundry facilities. And a dumpster. Now we're going to go... We'll start with 35. All right, we're gonna turn right here at the first inner loop. 35 is an ADA site. So pull throughs are on the left, back ends are on the right. Thirty-seven over there. And right here we have thirty-nine. I back in. They're doing work today. That's not so bad. We, yeah. We, over there on site forty is us. There we are. And if you see all the mud on the back of our motorhome, that was the the uh, remaining effects of getting out of the last park we were at, where we got flooded in. 42, pull through on the left. Just past 43 on the right. And there's 51 back, oh, well, I guess we'll see that. What would be next? That's 51, and then there's 52 there. All right. And then there's 53. Right there, 53. There are sights on the left, but not now. Turn here? Yeah. There's 56 right there, back in, and then 58 on 57's the right. 57's a pull through. Yeah. So again, here you got pull throughs on the left and back ends on the right. 59 a pull through. We have a host site to the right. 61 is closed. Oh, it's another an host, host site. site. Yeah. And we come out to where we started by the cabins. And this time we're going to turn and get the outer loop. And let's go loop-de-loop. -loop. Here we go loop-de-loop. 
Who remembers that song? I do. So I think these are the only two that we... Oh no, there are a few over here. Yes, there are. Back ends. So. There's 44 to the left and 45 right there. Here's one of the trails, the Foothills Trail. It joins up, you can go to the Discovery Center and uh, it joins one of the other trails also. And 46 is right there. So, 47 is on the left, back in. I'm not sure which one that one was. 48, so back in on the left. We've already seen the right side. Mm -hmm. 49 to back in. 50. And this little concrete pathway is what takes you right over to the uh, Discovery Center parking lot. It's go right through there. And 51. And 52. And I think we're back to 53. Yep, I think we've done all these and we have to go around again, don't we, to get back to our house. Yep. So that was our little tour of uh, Karchner Caverns State Park here in Benson, Arizona. As far as our site is, we have a paved site and our site was level. But what we've noticed is that all, all the, not all of these sites are level. Some you know, up and down, mostly downhill. You got to kind of play with them a little yes. bit. Yes. <laughs> so, um, outside of that, we do have 50 amp and we have water. They have a nice dump station, um, two-way dump station. Smooth roads if you have a tote. Right. And this campground is open. The other campground opens intermit uh, some, I don't know. Mid-October, Yeah, I think. something like that. And... They, they do open like for holidays and you know that sort of thing but right so it's a nice nice campground here um, the right across from us here there's a little concrete footbridge that goes right over to the Discovery Center and there's a uh, small cafe not very big there's really nowhere to sit in there you just order a sandwich and eat outside uh, there's a gift shop in there and some informational stuff items in there. It's like and a the, museum like. Yeah and then they have the cave tours. Um, only one cave tour is open at this time. We're here on October. This is October 1st but the other cave tour which is the bat cave I believe opens up mid-October mid -October when Couple all the weeks. bats have finished mating. With, with, well taking care of their babies. Yes. It's, it's like a what is it called? It's like bat. a bat nursery in there yeah. right now. <laughs> But as soon as that finishes, then they open the other cave for a, so you can tour. There's two tours then. Right. There's a great big daycare, daycare, day use area over there by the Discovery Center. There's some pavilions. Um, it's a nice area over there also. I want to say, mention something about the cavern tours. Make sure if you're here just for the weekend that you book ahead for the weekends because the weekends tend to get booked up. Now, during the time we were here, uh, the weekdays were not bad, but the weekends were hard. It's hard to get if you wait too late. It's hard to get a slot. Right. Um, as far as there's really no, per se, bike trails here. You can bike around the paved roads mm -hmm. here and up and down the entrance road here to the, to the park, around the Discovery Center, you know, things like that. And uh, the city of Sierra Vista is about, I'm going to say, rounded off to 30 minutes, straight up Highway 90. It's a large enough city, it's a pretty good sized city actually, that's got everything in the world there. There's three or four different supermarkets and restaurants and just, you know, pretty much everything you would need up in Sierra Vista. Right. It's, it's a nice sized little town. Yes. It's not a big town, but it has, it's Target, Walmart, uh, Marshalls. Ross. Yeah, Safeway, Fries, yeah. Olive Garden, different restaurants. Yeah, Chili's and different uh, private. So yeah. there's a lot there. 
Right. And on the other side of Sierra Vista, there's also a private RV park, which is where we're moving to, Sierra Vista RV Park. Mm -hmm. We're moving today. And, uh, of course, we'll do a tour of that park when we get up there. And we got to see what the, that big private park is about, too. Mm -hmm. Internet service, phone service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do have Wi-Fi here at the park, which does help. But I could never even get on. He could get on, yeah. but I could never get on. Sometimes it comes up in my list of Wi-Fi. Sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, I would say two out of three times it came up, and you watch a little video, and then you get logged on to uh, the park Wi-Fi, which it does seem to help. Yeah, yeah. It's in it. Sometimes it would be okay, and then sometimes it would be no service. Yeah. So just know that it's not stable here. We have Verizon. I don't know about other. Um, carriers. Right. For Verizon, not so stellar. So I think we've covered uh, the amenities, the park, the local city. Right, but we did not do a trail report. Oh yeah, we have to do a trail report. <laughs> so there's not a lot of trails here. There's like three trails, but they're all interconnected. Um, so you could make it as long as, or short as you want but I think the you know you if you want to get two to three miles in um, they're not horrible they're rated moderate one is rated easy but you just have to watch your footing for rocks and I did go on the and I call it the G, G trail I'll put the name right here but I only I could only go counterclockwise about um, 1.6 miles and it was overgrown so some of the trails, because it is so, um, they just came out of monsoon season, a lot of the grasses are like really high. And so if you don't mind that, then it's not a problem, but it's a little overgrown here and there. And you might see a rattlesnake. And you might see a rattlesnake. I actually saw a, mat a rattlesnake between here and the visitor center on the Foothills Trail. And um, we almost walked right up on it. It was huge and it lifted up and was ready to strike. So just keep an eye out for snakes. I only saw one other snake and it was a non-venomous snake and he was hurrying to get out of my way. <laughs> no other wildlife, although there are deer here and javelinas, someone here saw some javelinas. So the, the trails are beautiful. They're not super hard, just watch your footing. Um, I did the Foothills Trail too and up to the mountain view and that was a nice, that's a nice little climb. And if you like to rock scramble, there's a little bit of rock scrambling with that one. And I wish I had more time to do the other side of the G Trail, because maybe it wasn't as bad, but counterclockwise, you do follow along a creek and uh, there's little waterfalls and all, and it's really pretty. Okay, I think that's the trail report. Okay, okay. so that's, that's the second half of the video was the trail report. There are so, trails here and they are pretty, but they're not, some, some parts are well maintained, other parts are not, just be heads up. Okay, now I think we're done with the trail report. <laughs> so, like I said, we're moving today, 12 o'clock check out here, and we still got a couple hours. But anyway, we're gonna conclude this park tour of Karchner Cavern State Park, Fence. Benson. Benson, Arizona. Arizona. I thought you were going to say something. Well, I was going to say on this glorious fall morning, it is amazing. The temperatures here, we're so happy. Yes. <laughs> so with that being said, this is Gary and Sharon. The dogs are, well, they know what today is. <laughs> Their spidey senses are going yeah. off. <laughs> anyway, take care. Click like and subscribe. We like looking at freedom. Follow us on our journey. Hope to see you on the road someday. Safe travels. Take care. Bye.